Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today I have one of the coolest videos I have ever uploaded to this channel. I'm going to be showing you today how to connect your Nexus 7 or Android device to the PlayStation 3 controller. Let's get started. Alright, so as I said, this is going to work on some Android devices, specifically the Nexus 7. I also know it works on the Galaxy S3 as well as the S4. And I'm also going to put some other devices that it works with in the description, so definitely check that out to find your device. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Now, you're also going to need a few things. You're obviously going to need the PlayStation 3 controller. You're going to need the USB cable that comes with your PlayStation 3 controller. Now, if you have a PlayStation 3, obviously this stuff is going to be already with you. Um, you're also going to need an OTG adapter and this is basically the female end of a USB cable and then micro USB on the other end. We're going to plug this up to the Nexus 7. Now if you don't have any of these things, specifically this one most of you will probably have to pick up. This is really cheap. I'll uh, link you to one in the description down below. It cost me about $1.49 and I don't suggest you go to Best Buy because they have theirs set to like $19 and that's ridiculous. So I'll link you to this cable the charging cable as well as the PlayStation controller if you don't have one. All right, so now let's go ahead and plug everything up. So we'll plug the USB to the OTG adapter and then we'll go ahead and plug that up to the Nexus 7 or whatever device you're using. And then obviously just plugging the other end of the cable to the PlayStation controller. Now when you do start up a game, make sure that the control is set up by pressing the PS button in the middle. If that still doesn't work, just disconnect the USB from the controller and then connect it again, press the PS button and you're good to go. Now the controller works really well as you can see from this game here, Shadow Gun Death Zone. It's really smooth, there's no lag within the control and the game and it really gives you that console feel. Now the control won't be supported with all games like Fruit Ninja would be pointless as that game revolves around swiping across, it would be pointless to use the control for that. That, but for games like this, shooter games like Death Trigger, like I showed you at the beginning in the little box, as well as games like Sonic, which bring back the Sega Genesis style, work really well. And personally, I love the games like Death Trigger and Shadow Gun because they give you the online type of gameplay, specifically Shadow Gun, where you can play the deathmatch games like you would with Call of Duty. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, thumbs up if you liked it or found this cool, and if you want to see me post more videos like this one right here, I will be doing a follow up video showing you the best games that work with the PlayStation Control, as well as a video showing you how you can do this if you had a rooted device, because that's going to be pretty awesome. You can actually connect it up to your TV and have full screen Android games playing with your PlayStation Control, it would be crazy to be like a console without having a console. Anyway guys, thanks for watching once again, and I will see you in the next one.